What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video. So most of this video is going to be my latest upper hypertrophy workout. But before we get into that, I figure you haven't seen Halo Top in a while. Um, cookies and Cream, this is my favorite flavor I would say. Um, they're all pretty good, but Cookies and Cream is the creamiest, the best flavor I, I would say. So if, you're gonna, if you haven't tried it yet, Cookies and Cream, Birthday Cake, those are my top two. Then I would say Pumpkin. She's actually also eating Halo Top. She's eating chocolate. But she's weird, look at that, she puts it in a bowl. You're supposed to eat it straight from the pint, that's the whole point of Halo Top, but whatever. Leave a comment below if you're team pint or team bowl. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this up. And then like I said, the rest of this workout is going to be an upper hypertrophy workout. And enjoy the rest of the video. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the workout. Sorry if the intro is a little weird. I went to my parents' house and you heard my bird in the background screaming and they were all it, it just say it took a while to get silence before I was able to record that clip. That's why it might have came off a little bit bizarre. So anyway, welcome to the workout. This was the latest upper hypertrophy workout that I did. Um, so you're going to see, I do use a lot of machines on this workout. So when people see that I use a lot of machines for hypertrophy, they kind of start to think that hypertrophy means machines and no free weights. That is not what hypertrophy means. Hypertrophy simply means using lighter weight doing higher reps and that's really all it is so you could use all free weights you could basically make your strength workout into a hypertrophy workout with a few uh, moderations if you wanted to the thing is i go to a gym that has a, a lot of machines that other gyms do not have and i find these machines to be very very good actually a lot better than any machines that i've came across in other gyms and i feel like it would be a waste to go to this gym have all this nice equipment available and not use it, especially for the ones that I feel actually more than certain free weights. So personally, I use these machines more on my hypertrophy workouts than my uh, strength workouts, just because I find these machines lend themselves better to hypertrophy than they do for strength. Uh, just because it's a little awkward, obviously going like heavy, like five, six reps on like a, on a chest press machine. However, going higher reps, it's not awkward and I like it a lot that way. So. That's why you see I do use a lot of machines. I mean, I'm saying that as you just saw pull-ups and dumbbell rows, but for the most part, you do see a lot of machines. You don't have to use machines on hypertrophy workouts. I wanna make that clear. You can use some machines, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that between strength and hypertrophy, hypertrophy is a better time to utilize these machines. And like I said, it would seem like a waste not to use these machines that I have available to me at my gym. So. Now that we got that out of the way, um, I am gonna take you through every exercise I did. Not every set, obviously that would be a little boring, but every every um, exercise, but on everything besides pull-ups, I do five sets on the pull-ups, I do three sets of 10, and then two sets of 12. Everything else is between three and four sets and between 10 and 12 reps. Um, but the, the video, the thumbnail, it's not clickbait, it's titled My Biggest Mistake. And yeah, I could t I've made several mistakes in, in fitness. Um, and I, I don't want to talk about the, the same mistakes that I've been through. I've been over. Yeah, I dirty bulk. I got fat. That was one of my bigger fitness mistakes. Um, I felt I had to eat six small meals a day for a while. That was a pretty big fitness mistake. Um, uh, so, I mean, I've made plenty of fitness mistakes. But those aren't the ones that I really wanted to dive into in this video. This is going to be one that I'm sure a lot of you in high school and college can relate to, and it's probably gonna hit home with a lot of you. So my biggest fitness mistake, I would say, is letting, trying to be so hardcore and letting my fitness goals consume me and take over the rest of my life. So what I mean by that, I started lifting, I started this at 15. Um, so I got into this before, like partying and drinking was even a thing. But then when partying and drinking became a thing, I did not get into it. And part of it, the reason I didn't get into it was because I just had no interest in it. No one in my family ever really drank. No one in my family was really, really into that stuff. So I think, I don't think that my lack of drinking and partying was from my fitness. I think I really chose fitness because I had no interest in doing that. So for me, partying and stuff, that, that wasn't really an interest. But there were other things that I kind of gave up i would say that i shouldn't have given up because i was too obsessed with fitness so let me for, the, for example if someone would ask me to hang out the first thing that would go through my mind was oh no 
Uh, what am I gonna, how am I gonna bring my meals? Am I gonna skip a meal? Do I have to go out to eat? Am I gonna get home late? Am I gonna miss my workout tomorrow? Am I gonna lose strength? Like that, those are the thoughts that I would have in my head like anytime anyone asked me for plans. And now, don't get me wrong, for like parties, I was not into partying. I gave it a shot. I've been to several parties in college and high school, never enjoyed myself, never enjoyed drinking. So I don't feel like I gave that up. But a lot of you guys, you probably are into, you probably are into fitness and partying and there's nothing wrong with being into both. And you shouldn't let your fitness stop you from enjoying the, the party and the social aspect of your life. But for, more, for an example that's more specific to me, I love the Yankees. I love baseball games. But like when I was in, uh, I guess, high school um, or when I, maybe early college when I first started getting into this, like there's nothing I like more than going to a Yankee game. But it even got to a point where if someone would ask me to go to a Yankee game, all I would be thinking about is the fact that I couldn't really bring food. I'd have to miss my meals. And then I would get home late and I wouldn't be able to have my, like full energy at the gym the next day. So like those are the stupid thoughts that would go through my head with social events. So like anytime my family wanted to go out for dinner right away, I'd be, I'd, rather than think of a, a, a way to do it, I would be thinking of ways to get out of it. I'd be thinking, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to miss my meals. I'm going to go over my calories. I'm going to get fat or I'm not going to eat it. If I was bulking, I'm not going to eat enough. I'm going to waste my, I'm going to waste today's workout. So like, those are all the things that would go through my head. So anytime anything came up that wasn't the gym, the immediate reaction I would think I would have in my head was how is this going to be affecting my workout? And like I said, I'm sure a lot of you are actually like that now. And it did take me a while to get out of that, that thought process. But over time, I learned that fitness is not supposed to be your life. You're not supposed to revolve your life around fitness. You're supposed to work fitness into your life. And you should not, you should not let your fitness goals consume you to the point where you can't do anything else. So there's nothing wrong. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. To, get, to make progress in the gym, you do need to make sacrifices. I mean, sometimes you are going to have to not um, go out maybe to a specific event or maybe you'll have to go out but not eat. I mean, sometimes that it might take that, but you shouldn't be so extreme to the point where you can't do anything because you're so consumed with your fitness goals. I mean, maybe you'll um, make slightly slower progress, but that's okay. You're in this for the long haul. You don't want to look back and be like, wow, I can't believe I didn't go to that, that Yankee game because I had a a bench press workout. I don't remember the bench press workout at all, but the Yankees won the World Series that day. So, I mean, stuff like that. So, that's my biggest fitness mistake. Let, um, letting fitness consume me to the point where it was, like, all I thought about and it kind of got in the way of, like, social events. So, if you're like that now, try to not be like that. Try to take a back seat, ease up a bit. The gym's not going anywhere. It's not that serious. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. So, this is funny, by the way. You just stood right there. So if you guys found that helpful, if you guys can relate, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thanks for watching, guys. Finally, he's out of the way. And, <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video.